Sexy. Sassy Road, no class. Russell Hart and Opawa Sweet off the outside. So all but set to go here. Last couple going down. Favourites, Just Jordana, four and at $2.60. Sassy Road, late money also the nine. Set, ready. And racing, getting away, A-OK, -okay. middle of the pack here was Just Jordana, will jump and across and find the lead here, tucked in behind, down on the inside, there we go, two threat, further back in transit, there is Stay Young, that's followed round the outside here by Russell Hart, a length or two, no class, starts to find a bit of room, that's been followed back there by Sassy Road, Taylors, Opawa Swede, Magic Fancy off the top, they go and Just Jordana, catch me if you can, coming out after it there is Threat, but Just Jordana going too well the bend, and Just Jordana will kick away Threat, second, third, across Russell Hart, then we go to No Class, followed back there, uh, now by Stay Young, Opawa, Swede, Sassy Road, and Magic Fancy will be your last one home. She's jumped, she's found the lead, and once she does that, uh, she's always tough to bolt, uh, is uh, just Jordana, closed off around about the $4 mark, and has a got home for the Craig team. Will be to the 10, that's got a cheeky old race, hasn't it? Uh, the 6 and the 4.30 and 60 was the winner's time run in 14 and 99 and uh, the other two splits for you in a moment or two uh, it has uh, done it and uh, done it very very nicely uh there and that uh, run of 30 and 60 which is uh, a okay what are the other he go 30 and 76 uh, here they are from the hop and it's uh, just a line of them going into that uh, first bend there but just jordana she's jumped crossed just a totally different dog on the bunny as we saw their first split 468 mid 1561 run in 14 and 99 and each race through to the semis fastest fifth as well they qualify as reserves so all but set and ready bunny rolling up Deanne's fantasy off the inside racing Deanne's Fantasy gets away quite nice and will spot the bunny first out wide of the track. Here we go to Gordon Bale that hunts up. White is still on the track. There is Merlin Blue a length or two back there now is Verlaine's Flyer uh, trying to kick into the race along the inside. Catch a fire. Blitzing Mayhem dropping towards the tail of field. Rene Ranger and Speedy Kazza off the top. A gummin. Gordon Bale doing it nicely. Roberts having a good day and behind there we go to Deanne's Fantasy and Merlin Blue trying to kick into the race out wide there is Verlaine's Flyer but up they come. Gordon Bale home. Deanne's Fantasy then we go to Verlaine's Flyer, followed back there now by Moulin Blue. That's followed back by Blitzing Mayhem, and towards the tail of the field uh, would have been Rene Ranger, Catcher Fire, and Speedy Kazza. The Roberts team, I think that's four today. A couple of heats of the cup. And Gordon Bale gets home here and gets home nicely, beating the one, Deanne's Fantasy, the four, Verlaine's Flyer, and the seven, Moulin Blue. 30 and 68, the winner's time. And uh, the run in 15.03. Oh, Other two splits not posted out there as yet. Uh, but a good run. The eight jumped out nicely from uh, that wide draw, just angled up across them going into the first bend. Up there too was Deanne's Fantasy, 470. 15.65 that to mid split. And then the cut off uh, at Deanne's Fantasy going into the first bend. Box and set here. Bunny about to roll. Plasterboard Limited, Auckland Cup. Semis Thursday week. Set and ready. Bunny rolling up. 527 metres. Set. Racing. Wild Grover stride, slow speed, middle of the pack here with Sarge's one and out wide of the track. There we go to Mammy Brown. Mammy Brown and Yannick Match Motors. A length or two back we go to Sarge's one, followed there by Corborn Phillip off the track a little bit there as Riggs. That's followed back in transit here now. Wild Grove, David Zostian breaking down at the tail as Wayley go. Off the top they come in. Yannick doing an A-OK -okay gap in the field there now to Mammy Brown. Oh, this is a well spread out. Sarge's one is followed back there uh, by Corborn Phillip and Riggs, but up they come and Yannick's home. Home nicely. Second and Mammy Brown followed him by Sasha's one close there we go to Corborn Phillip and Riggs that's been followed back there by David Zosti long way back there we go to Wild Grove and uh, pulling up uh, off the top was way to go seemed to go a miss uh, heading towards the 300 meter boxes and Yannick uh, doing the job here uh, we'll beat the who do we have there Mammy Brown was um, still uh, um, there and then we go the way of the six and the next runner across would be what have we got there? Nothing up. 
30 and 65. Uh, 276 and the 3, 478, and Miss uh, 1494 was the runner. Right, let's see what happened to the gold rug here, the yellow. Just might have even broken down from the boxes here, uh, the yellow way ago. Uh, but the early speed going the way of the inside Yannick, and out wide there we go to the 7, and that was Mammy Brown. And the 5, I think, just mi uh, went amiss, so just going out of the bend here. Um, we're not going to see a hell of a lot there, though, are we? Uh, 276 and 330 and 6. Stretch, Corborn, Raven, Thrilling Butcher. Raw Energy, Piggyback, Check the Mail, and Magico off the outside. Up goes your fave, Raw Energy. Piggyback down. Magico off the outside. Set and ready. Bunny rolling through. Just about there. And racing, Coco was away fairly, showing a bit of early speed too with Coco was out wide of the track. There we go to Corborn Rave, tucked in behind there as though power stretch, raw energy, pretty handy. Or just gets on the drift a little there, raw energy. It's outside, we go to Corborn, the Rave, thrilling butcher in that pack, and last of all, their piggyback. Off down the back they go, rail, oh, power stretch. Out wide we go there to Coco, was trying to kick into the races. Oh, uh, there now is uh, check the mail, and here comes thrilling butcher. Up they come, still driving there, check the mail, thrilling butcher. Late. Then we go to Opawa Stretch. That's been followed back by Coco. Was further back in trance. It would have been Magico. And towards the tail of the field, piggyback, Corborn Raven, raw energy. Well, no energy today. Check the mail. Check the price. Uh, there, what's it paying? 16s. $16. About check the mail. We'll do the job here. Thrilling Butcher's got to the line as expected. Then we go the way of the three and the one. 30 and 85, so they haven't run that quick compared with some of the hits. Now, number six will do the job here. Check the mail. Check the mail. Uh, here, what happened to this first bend? There's the two at angles down to the rail. This is your fave. Uh, there, and uh, just missed away, didn't it? Really hasn't done a hell of a lot in that run to the first bend. And I don't know if we can wind it. No, we go up. Indiana is mere jets and blaze. Indy Road and no attempt. Validation, Brighton, Bullet, Lock and Var, Brando, Code 9 off the outside. Set to go. Last heat of the cup, Bunny rolling forward. Set, ready. Racing Indiana Isma up with a little bit of early speed up wide here to Code 9. Can he cross him? Yes, he can. Indy Road tries to go up there and behind in third posse there. We've got validation. Uh, that's followed back there now by Jetson Blaze. He's followed further back by Indiana Isma. Three or four we go to. No attempt. Brighton Bullet and uh, breaking down at the tail of the field. There looks to be uh, validation. It is off the top. They come in Code 9. Here comes a run from Lock and Var. Brando gap in the field there now to Indy Road. Code 9 in front. Lock and Var. Brando starts to run. Lock and Var. Code 9 get home from Lock and Var Brando. Then we go the way of Indy Road, followed back there by Jetson Blaze. Further back would have been no attempt. That's been followed towards the tail of the field here by Indiana Isma, Brighton Bullet. And uh, one that pulled up on the journey was a Validation. Well, he's done it all right. Uh, getting home strong was Lock and Var Brando. As we watch them uh, swing in here. And it was eight to beat the six. So 30 and 59 was the winner's time. So they've run a bit of time. Eight, six, five, and three. Eight, six, five, and three here. And so we watched the charge off into the first bend and he just crossed him and away he went. Gee, he's good off this box, isn't he? Uh, they give anything a hurry up uh, when he draws the wide and he did today. And has uh, just been too strong. Good run, as they expected. Lock and Var Brander. If he would learn to jump, too late for him to teach him to jump now. Getting up to three, four seventy four, fifteen sixty three, fourteen and ninety six. So the chilling Keramus sectioned. I beat the fling, Roquette, and Fiery Dancer off the outside. Set and ready. Racing the last slow away there would have been sectioned along there with the Keramis early speed going the way here of Roquette finds the lead round the outside of front is there now is need to chill the inside we go to down the back fiery dancer starts to move that's followed by a length or two back by section long way from them there is a Berrydale bullet up they come and railing away as Roquette gets home from down the back then we go the way of need to chill section that's been followed to further back still here uh, by fiery dancer there's been a lot of trouble in the race looks as though a Berrydale bullet's broken down uh, further back there we had uh, the Keramis and and I beat the fling come uh, those pair got into trouble off the top. Roquette wraps up a great day for the Roberts Kennels.
Well, a jump and run here, dog number six, 18 and 38. The winner's time, six, one, five and two. And the run in 13 and 90. What happened to a couple of these runners in behind? Uh, there's the four going down, and uh, going down also was the seven. And uh, the three uh, broke down, I think, uh, coming off the top. Six, one, five and two. 18.38 to run in 13.90. First split, uh, not up there as yet, but this is one at easy, hasn't it? A good to three and a half lengths or more. 4.48 uh, was that uh, first split. As we watch some jump and uh, the early speed going the way here. Oh, but down the back out wider there was Roquette, and it did a Roquette off of the boxes today. Uh, that was for sure. Where's the trouble? Uh, what happened going into this first bend? Bit of squeezing up. But the one got across there. The four, the five. Uh, the end of the seemed to go down on its nose going to that bend and the seven went over the top so nowhere to go uh, there for Kiramis and I beat the fling but uh, Roquette big divvies 26.60 and about four dollars I'm just having a look at my board over the shoulder there and uh, so another one at long long odds uh, here in race number 12 and uh, the Roberts